Hi there, this is going to be like a very rough video that I'm uh, watching right now. It's Dan Martel and he's speaking about ADHD pills. And this is because I'm considering entering a season of no, which is not so much a season of no. It's more a season of yes. I'm going to take the pills more often. And why? Mm. So the pills I'm taking is called Concerta. And in my views, considering all the things that I want to do, the way I see this is, for me this is a hack, okay? It's like, if you are playing a video game and there is a stage on the video game that is really difficult, uh, would you take a shortcut to move ahead that level? The point here is like, you wouldn't learn the lessons of that level, but maybe the lessons of that level is to use the bed, to use the pills. And yeah, and then build systems all around that. And system means like taking more care of myself, doing more workout, going more to the nature, being more with people, but not this year. Because the point here is like, if I can have one year of hard work, and I mean, and it's hard work plus the med, and then this is going to, to take me, imagine, five years of hard work, no med. This is like a just, I mean, I'm, I'm actually saving four years of my life just by taking the med, if, if I can pull through the phase of my life where I'm at. Which is, you know, most of the time, this is helping me the most for motivation. Is, is, is motivation, right? And the point here is like if I have a team, if there's like a set of rules or something, I can manage this way better. So, so yeah, I know, yeah, motivate yourself, do this, do that. It's like, brother, uh, what if? What if? Um, so, yeah, that's <clears throat> my current mind at the moment. I'm Carlito Fluito, I'm the founder of Plain Camp, and this is a company that is helping people to be happier, to be more time together and be in nature, which, as you can see, not always is something that I'm practicing. However, I think it's a necessary sacrifice. Like, I could do it differently, yes, of course, but it doesn't feel wrong like the, the times I have taken the med it was like so productive really like I was able to advance so much I was able to focus so good and I felt just good because I felt productive because I felt I was moving through so honestly uh, until the day arrives and it might never arrive it might, it might be always been this cycle but I mean, we can go to the root cause of today, it's like, it's women. Always women are the stabilizing my system. Like, I was supposed to meet uh, with uh, a girl today, this girl didn't show up, and then like all my uh, schedule get fucked because I have a schedule that thing, and then uh, it's, it's lack of self-respect, definitely. Uh, yeah, and then like all my plans go fuck themselves. And this is, this cannot be good, so, Yeah, I'm uh, highly confused. I need to understand this deeply about myself and be like, okay, put your shit together, figure it out. But I think that at the moment, the best that, uh, that I can do for myself is just taking a med, continue working, pulling through, and fuck, things will get better. So yeah, maybe this is the lesson of this part of my life. Drugs. Thank you for watching. I hope this was useful for you. This was a message for the AI when it does a full profile of who I am and what thoughts run through my mind, he will have this information. And for you, if you are considering taking meds, take your own decision, I'm not here to take decisions for you. You can do something like a pros and cons, right? Like, okay, let's, let's do a bit of decision-making strategy. So, because I was doing some of these my, myself, right? So, <clears throat> I was like, pros, cons, okay? Pros, cons. So the cons, because they are very fresh in my mind, uh, I can have a heart attack at some point in the future because of the medicine. This is like long term, okay? Long. Now, in the short term, insomnia. And it's like you're talking with me, which I have like such a deregulated sleep patterns that are horrible. 
if I could have another ring, which I will buy once that I have money, which I will have money once I start taking the pills, I will see the impact of the pills on my sleep. But as for now, my sleep patterns are horrible. Like, there has never been regulated, it's just, it just crap. Like, my sleep is crap. So, I don't think that's even like a factor onto the equation that I'm going to <clears throat> take pills and somehow have worse sleep. I think it's going, it's, it's, it's just shit. So, <clears throat> medium term, that I might create dependency, which is a possibility, though, well, part of the game. I guess I can go out of it if I have the right conditions and I take holidays for 10 days doing a Vipassana. Pros, we have so many. Like, you know, business development, I can advance so much, which means making money, which means advancing on my purpose, which means more fun in the future, which means attracting the right type of people, which means doing the right type of activities, which means having the money again to spend on these activities, doing trips, traveling and expanding the brand. It's like, it's, I, I cannot even stop mentioning the amount of good things that could happen. And the cons is like my health, which, the, okay, let's put health here. Well, is my health also the mood? You know, it's just like it has some mood deregulation. Which is, is pretty, it's pretty like fundamental stuff, right? Like your health is like a healthy, uh, a sick, a health, a healthy man has like a thousand wishes. A sick man has one wish, which is to get health. So <clears throat> obviously this is like the fundamental base of pretty much everything else. But I'm considerably lucky to to say like my main health issues are related with my skin. And my skin is related with the stress, and the stress is related with that. And the other one is my, my skin reactions are in many occasions due to the diet. And lucky for us, one of the negative side effects of the med is like a reduction of appetite. So I'm not gonna be hungry, I'm not gonna eat, I'm not gonna consume sugar or carbohydrates or bread or all this stuff. That is making my heart, my, my skin react. So, duh. Another positive effect of the pills is like it makes me go to the gym actually like I enjoy going to the gym And if I'm demotivated because that's the, ma the main thing the motivation Then voila <clears throat> I'm not going to the gym. So oh no just go to the gym take a cold shower blah blah. It's like yes But at the end of the day I can do whatever I want because it's my life and I have the recipe of the doctor and I can buy them legally so <clears throat> And yeah and the mood yeah, I guess like if I'm feeling shit, then take more. <laughs> or just like do like a, a day of dopamine detox, go to the nature with a phone, without anything, and spend one day there and take them again next day or something like this. Um, or cry. Crying is good. Having a shitty mood day is it's okay. Or just have like true real friends that don't disappear. Anyways, that's why I'm taking a pill right now and I'm going to work more. Much love, people. Uh, love of playing camp. We are progressing. We are advancing. Uh, escape velocity, which I love the concept. It's like escaping, running forwards, right? Like, yeah, the past is the past, but the future is much more promising. So, let's take some pills. Much love. See you soon.